guys, it's Adrienne. So, um, it's Tuesday for me. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, my Whip Wednesday video. Um, actually I'm going to probably go ahead and try to get a few of the videos that I need to get made, um, uploaded and finished and that way, that way y'all have content for, you know, uh, a couple days before I, uh, go back to work this weekend. Um, so, yeah, for this Whip Wednesday video, even though it's being filmed on Tuesday, y'all will see it on Wednesday. Um, if you're new to the channel, the way I usually do this is I'll show you what I've finished, um, for the last seven days, and then I'll talk a little bit about what I've got planned for the upcoming week. Um, and of course, if you're, if you're not new to the channel and you've been keeping up with me, thanks for coming by. I really appreciate it. Um, and I hope you guys keep coming back. I hope you guys keep watching. I, I, I have a goal for December. I, I really am, I, I'd really like to try to make 800 subscribers by the end of the year. That would just tickle me pink. So I hope you guys enjoy my content. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. You know, all that kind of jazz. Um, so anyways, the first thing that I have to show you guys as far as finished objects go, I've showed this particular cardigan a few times, and I had been waiting to get some more of the yarn so that I could finish up the sleeve. Um, so, let's see. I'm probably going to have to. So this particular cardigan is the fairy glass cardigan. That's the, I guess you would say the inside. Um, and then that's the back. It is a fairy glass cardigan and I keep saying I'm going to get a tutorial up for this cardigan. Um, that's the, it's a circular cardigan. Um, these are the sleeves. And so for this particular one, I used a Stanley muffin cake. It's very flowy, very lightweight, very drapey. Um, this one is a small, and you can see the Stanley muffin cakes. They're, they're grad, what, what do they call it? Gra graduate yarn? Um, they start, the center starts out pink. And it gradually goes out to purple and then to to the black. Um, so I did finish that this week. Um, I don't have the cake handy. Let me get my chair again. Um, I used a Stanley um, limited edition muffin for that. Um, and I actually was able, for the small, I was able to make the whole body plus one sleeve before I had to get another cake. Um, so even for the small, it, it takes quite a bit of yarn. Um, and this was, it's, you know, it's a weight two yarn. It's made with a 3.5 millimeter hook. Um, and I will link the pattern to this cardigan, um, in the description box below, um, I promise eventually I will get the video tutorial up on how to do this because the pattern is uh, a diagram pattern and I know a lot of people don't know how to read diagrams um, but I did get permission from Garn Studio to make tutorial videos um, so that is the plan I just have to actually sit down and film it um, so, the other things that I've been working on, I mentioned last week that I had a, uh, a lady contact me about preemie beanies in bulk. You'll see the size of this. It's a small clothes basket. And it's about halfway full. <laughs> 
I have been making creamy bean creamy baby beanies in every color you can imagine. I've got purple. This was an interesting yarn to work with. It's it was almost like ribbon encased in a well here's here's the tail. I don't know if y'all can see that. It 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 to me it looks like ribbon encased in a sort of cotton netting. Um I don't know if it's focusing very well. I don't know if y'all will be able to see that. But it was an interesting kind of novelty yarn that I had. Um, a friend had given it to me. She, I think she found it in her storage or something. Um, I'm not really sure. But I've got so many of these things. I've got this basket about halfway full. Like I said, there is a ton of them in here. And I have not, none of these have ends woven in. None of them. Um, there's, there's just so many of them. I've got them in all colors. I got blue, I got orange. So this particular um, lady, she contacts me every year and she buys these preemie beanies in bulk um, from me. And then she donates them to her uh, her local Nick units. Here's another one I made. I don't know where this yarn came from. I think it was one that I picked up at the thrift store. But it was so pretty. I don't know if y'all can see the colors very well. But when I was working with it, I could just picture this particular beanie going to a little baby girl named Rose because the colors... You know, the, the colors are with the pinks and the greens. It, it just reminded me of a rose. Um, so, um, last year, I made 700, maybe a little over 700 beanies for her. Um, and so this year, she's not going to start ordering until January. And so I'm trying to get ahead and get as many done as I can now. Um, I got a ton of pink ones. I'm going to have to look for some more blue colors. So, not some more blue, but some more boy colors. I need some more boy colors. I, don't, I got a ton of pink. I need some more boy colors and some gender neutral colors. Um, yeah. But, uh, so I do that every year and this year I was kind of thinking that it wasn't going to happen um, just because she hadn't placed her order yet um, but she did email me and let me know that no she's still planning on doing it her church is taking donations they're just running a little late this year um, I made this out of the scraps from that Uga yarn it's so soft <laughs> Um, most of them I've made are solid colors, but I do have a few that I uh, made that are striped. Um, usually what happens is my son, I'll crochet them all up, and then my 17-year-old my son comes in and he'll take the whole basket. That's why there's actually two baskets, one empty and one that I'm filling up. And he'll take and weave in all of the ends for me and clip them and he takes and get them, gets them all packaged up for me because um, I usually put about 25 in a package and I just write the number on it so I know exactly how many I've made up for um, but uh, so that's that's what I've been working on this week is in particular is baby beanies um, and probably uh, most, most likely I'll be doing that all of this coming week as well, uh, just because I really, I really want to get ahead for, for this particular order every year, <laughs> well, the last three years, um, I usually end up with a sore wrist or a sore elbow or what do they call that, tennis elbow, um, 
from trying to keep up with it. Uh, but you know, I'm thinking this year I can I can get ahead ahead get ahead enough to where I will not have to deal with that quite as bad. So that's what I've been working on that this week, and that's what I have planned for this coming week. Now, um, I am working on a messy bun beanie tutorial. I wanted to get a, a new tutorial out just because I haven't had had one in a while, and I know it's just a small tutorial, um, but. I haven't had time to really sit down and start filming the fairy glass uh, tutorial and I haven't had time to sit down and finish the sunflower cardigan tutorial which that one is about halfway filmed <laughs> I just I have to finish filming it and I have to get it edited and put all together but um, I, I have I have a ton of different tutorials started and I haven't finished them or finish the editing and yeah um, but anyways that is what's going on with uh, Whip Wednesday um, I'm just gonna keep trucking along and trying to get these preemie beanies worked up uh, I can tell you my 17 year old is not thrilled about the idea of having to sit and weave in ends but he does it for me every year even though he doesn't want to <laughs> It makes the process go just a little bit quicker. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm going to be doing this week. That's that's my Whip Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to let you guys go because I do have some yarn video or yarn haul videos that I need to uh, film as well because those packages are piling up because I haven't filmed them. So, I haven't put the yarn away. <laughs> I haven't even opened them. Uh, but, uh, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. I will leave uh, links to everything in the description box below if you want to check it out. Also, um, if you're interested in ordering some uh, bulk preemie beanies for donation, I will leave the link to that listing in my Etsy shop in the description box um, and I guess I will see you guys in my next video um, which should be it'll be on Thursday or Friday that you guys see it um, but it'll be filmed today um, anyhow I will see you guys in the next one